Hello guys, welcome to another video in the series of coding. Today we are going to do the problem which is called handshakes. So you have n person sitting on a round table. Any person can do a handshake with any other person. In how many ways can n people make handshakes so that no two handshakes cross each other? n will always be even. Okay. Let's start with the first case. Since n is always even, let us start building the cases one by one from n equal to 2. So for the simple case of n equal to 2, there are two people. 1 and 2. So there is only one way in which they can shake hand. 1 shakes hand with 2. So the answer for this case is simply 1. Okay, let me write the answer. Answer is 1. Let us build the next case when n is equal to 4. Okay. So in the case of n equal to 4, what will be the arrangement? So you will have something like 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So in this case, 1 and 2 can shake hand and 3 and 4 can shake hand. But this is not the only possible arrangement. You can have one more way in which 1 and 4 shake hand and 2 and 3 shake hand, right? So in this case, there are two possible ways. So in this case, the answer is equal to 2. Okay. Let us see the next case. When n is equal to 6, right? So when n is equal to 6, there are 6 people that are sitting on a round table. Okay. Now, how do we solve the problem? So one way is just trying to dry, uh, draw out all the possible combinations, right? So to draw out all the possible combinations, there is one simple way, right? Let's take one person. Let's say we take the person one, right? Let us start with him. Let's say he shakes hand with two. So one case is fixed, right? If he shakes hand with two, this case is fixed. So all the remaining people have to shake hand among each other, right? How many ways can they shake hand? See, we have four people, right? And for four people, we already know the answer. For n equal to four, these are the four people, right? These are the four people. For n equal to four, they can shake hand in two ways, okay? Let's draw it out. See, in the case for n equal to six, if we fix one and two, let me write it out again. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's say I fix one and two, right? This is my pivot. In this case, 3, 4 can shake hand and 5, 6 can shake hand. Otherwise, 3, 6 can shake hand and 4, 5 can shake hand, right? If this is the pivot, there are two ways, right? Okay. Now, let's see the next case. So, let's see the next case. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, what we did? In the first case, we made 1 and 2 as the pivot, okay? Now, let's try making 1 and 3 as the pivot and let's try drawing out the remaining combinations. Now, we see that 2 will be left out alone on this side. So, this is not possible because always there have to be even number, right? Here also, if you see, 6 and 4 will shake hand and there will be a, a problem on this side, right? 5 will be left out. So, this case is not possible. So, the next possible handshake will be 1 will shake hand with 4, okay? Let's again fix the handshake of 1 with 4, and let me try out the remaining possible combination. So what I'm doing, I'm fixing 1 and 4, right? If I'm fixing 1 and 4, what is happening? In this case, see, there is only one way. 5 will shake hand with 6 and 2 will be forced to shake hand with 3. There is no other way, right? There is no other possibility. Because if we try some other case, like 6, 3, this will be a crossing over. So in this case, we have the answer on this side for two people. And we have the answer on this side for two people, okay? So, there is only one possibility. Now, let's try the next pivot. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. What are the cases we saw? 1 and 2 as the pivot. 1 and 3 was not possible. We saw 1 and 4 as the pivot already. 1 and 5 is not possible. Again, because 6 will be left out. So, the last pivot is 1 and 6. Okay. So, in this case, if 1 and 6 shake hands and we fix this position, remaining 4 people have to shake hand among themselves. Right. So, what are the ways in which remaining 4 people can shake hand? 2, 3 will shake hand. 4, 5 can shake hand. Or, see, 1 and 6 is fixed. 2, 5 can shake hand. And 3, 4 can shake hand, right? So, these are all the cases possible for n equal to 6. Okay? So, if 1, 2 is the pivot, let's see this case. If 1, 2 is the pivot, right? In this case, there are two possibilities. If 1, 4 is the pivot, there is one possibility. If 1, 6 is the pivot, right? If 1, 6 is the pivot, then there are again two possible cases. So, if we add up all the cases, right, 2 plus 1 plus 2. So, there will be overall 5 cases, right. For n equal to 6, totally these all 5 cases are possible, okay. So, for n equal to 6, the number of cases possible is 5. So, let me write it, write it down here. So, the answer in this case is 5, okay. Now, let us see the case for n equal to 8, so, for n equal to 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 
5, 6, 7, 8. Let's again start with the same approach. So in the first case, we have 1 and 2 as the pivot. Okay, let's say these people shake hand. So these 6 people will be forced to shake hand with each other. Now instead of drawing the combinations again and checking this combination is a valid one, for example, this combination is a valid one and so on. We already know when 6 people shake hand, what is the answer? When 6 people shake hand, the answer is 5, right? These are all the combinations. We just drew all the 5 combinations, right? So, when 6 people shake hand, the answer is 5. So, in this case, the answer is simply 5, okay? But there can be other cases also, right? What can be the other cases? Let's draw it out. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let us say 1 and 3 try to shake hand. 2 will be left out. This case is not possible. So, let us make 1 and 4 as the pivot. In this case, what will be the answer? See, on this side, you have 4 people. On this side, you have 2 people, right? So, if you know the answer for 2 and if you know the answer for 4, you can build the answer, right? The number of ways will just be multiply both the ways. So, let's say we know the answer for 2 and we just multiply that with the answer for 4, okay? So, what is the answer for 2? We already know that if 2 people shake hand, the answer is 1. If 4 people shake hand, there are 2 ways, right? So, we already have seen the 2 ways and we already know for 2, the answer is 1, okay? So, now let us uh, build. So, the answer will simply be 1 into 2. That will be, there will be 2 ways, okay? What are the 2 ways? See, let's see the 2 ways. So, 1 way is simply this, right? 1 way is this. This is one of the possible way. What is the other way? 2, 3 and then 8, 5 and 6, 7. This is the other way, right? So, there are totally two ways. And how did we get this two way? So, we know that on the right side, there are four people. On the left side, there are two people. So, if we just multiply the answer for them, right? We know the answer. So, the answer is simply 2 into 1, which is 2, okay? For this particular case. Now, there can be other cases also. So, for n equal to 8, what is the next case? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, let's... Let's make, see we have already seen the case for 1 and 2. We know 1 and 3 is not possible. We have already seen the case for 1, 4. We know 1, 5 is not possible because there will be odd number. Odd is not allowed. So let's say 1, 6 is the next pivot. In this case, what will be the answer? There are 2 people on this side. There are 4 people on this side, right? So what will be the answer? The answer will again be answer of 2 into answer of 4, right? And the answer for 1, 1 people is, uh, sorry, the answer for 2 people is 1 way to handshake. For 4 people, there are 2 ways to do the handshake. So, the answer will again be 2 in this case, okay? Now, let's quickly see the last case. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. See, we have seen all the cases. We have seen 1, 2. We have seen 1, 3 is not possible. We have seen 1, 4. 1, 5 is not possible. We have seen 1, 6. 1, 7 is not possible. The last case is 1, 8. Let's pivot 1, 8, right? In this case, there will be 6 people on this side and there will be 0 people. So, what is the answer? Answer of 6 into answer of 0. So, if you multiply anything, okay, um, with, okay, now what will be answer of 0? Let's think. So, if you multiply uh, this, if you make answer of 0 as 0, it will be wrong because then you will get 0 ways. But it's, it's wrong, right? Because the answer should be answer of 6 into answer of 0. So, answer of 0, you can make it as 1. 1 is the base case, right? So, that you just have answer of 6. So, the number of ways in which 6 people can do the handshake is 5. We have already seen previously. So, the answer will become 5 in this case. So, the base case for answer of 0 is 1, okay? Just for uh, making the base case. So, what are the total number of ways? Now, for n equal to 8, right? What are the total ways? So, 5 plus 2 plus 2 plus 5, right? So, one time you make 1, 2 as the pivot. Next time you make 1, 4 as the pivot. Next time you make 1, 6 as the pivot. Next time you make 1, 8 as the pivot. So, add all the answers. So, 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 plus 2 is 9. 9 plus 5 is 14. So, the answer in this case is 14, okay? Now, how do we build the solution, okay? Let us see carefully what we are doing for n equal to 8 once again, okay? To build the answer. See, to build the answer for n equal to 8, what all do we need? Let me write it again here. So, when we are building the answer for n equal to 8, first time what are we doing? We are taking answer of 0 on the uh, on this side, right? On the left side. And on the right side, we are taking answer of 6, okay? Plus, next time what are we taking? We are taking answer of 2 into answer of 4, right? So, next time we are taking answer of 2 into answer of 4. Plus, next time what are we doing? Next time also we are taking answer of 4 into answer of 2, okay? So, that's what we are doing. So, this is the next case, answer of 4 into answer of 2 plus answer of 4 into answer of 2. And what is the last case that we are taking? Last case that we are taking is answer of 6 into answer of 0, okay? 
so answer of 6 into answer of 0 so this is the simple logic if you already know the answer for 0 answer for 2 answer for 4 answer for 6 you can build the answer for 8 right so for building the answer for 8 you need to know these values so it's a dynamic programming problem okay so you if you already save these values which you calculate then you can calculate the answer for um, 8 so let us try to code this now see so uh, it's a dynamic programming problem so we'll take a dp vector which will keep on storing the answer so let me make it size equal to n plus 1 because we need to give the base case for 0 so the base case for dp of 0 is 1 we have already discussed okay now let's try to build the answer okay so once we are building the answer we'll build the answer from okay from um see for calculating the answer for n equal to 8 you need all these answers 0 2 4 6 right so you need to have already built these answers so from 0 you need to build the answer but for 0 we already have the answer so let's build the answer from n equal to 2 okay till n equal to okay our answer in this case let me take the example of capital n equal to 8 okay so we are building the answer for 8 we need to start from uh, 0 and build the answer up to 8 okay so we need to have these values so every time i'm incrementing by 2 now how do i build the answer for this see what are we doing we are taking a variable let me take a variable i that is going to start from 0 right that is starting from 0 and it is going to 2 4 6 okay so for the case of n equal to 8 this left side is going till n minus 2 right this left side is going till n minus 2 n is equal to 8 8 minus 2 is 6 so we need a variable i that will range from 0 and it will go till n minus 2 okay so so what are we doing see we need a variable i that will start from 0 okay and that will go up to n minus 2 and it will increment by 2 each time so on the left side so we have dp of n plus is equal to okay dp of i okay on the right side what is happening this is i right this left side is the variable i so when i is equal to 0 on this side we have on this side we have what is 6 6 is 6 minus 0 okay similarly when i is equal to 2 we have 6 minus 2 which is equal to 4 similarly when i is equal to 4 we have 6 minus 4 which is equal to 2 here similarly when i is equal to 6 we have 6 minus 6 which is equal to 0 here so it is going till n minus 2 and on the right side you have n minus 2 minus i right so n minus 2 minus i that's what you have so that's it and after all this is done you can return dp of n so let's uh, run and see if it's getting accepted so it's passing all the test cases that's it thank you for being patient and listening